Well, hey everybody, this is Bart from The Sound Couple, and today we're gonna to cover two ways you can set up a remote speaker. Now, situations that we run into where we need to provide secondary coverage is at a wedding, and that's very, that's very common for us, where either they want it, we need to cover speeches in, in a bigger area or in a separate room, or we need to provide music, dinner music, for cocktail hours or whatever in a, in a different room. So in previous videos, we've demonstrated at least one way to get that done, and that is through the cool cat snake boxes. And so what that allows you to do is use the Cat5 cable to run analog signal through them. And I think we have a 150 foot snake. So it's a great way to make long distance runs. It's reliable. You just come out of the mixer into the one box, you run your Cat5 over to the other one, and then out of the, out of the box into the speaker. Well, thanks to DJ Brettley, he kind of flew through a, a, a method that I had never even thought of before and I haven't seen anybody else mention. And I thought it was such a great idea that it needed to be called out on its own. And the sound couple is bringing it to all of you. And you're probably going, duh, but it's exciting for us because everybody loves wireless, right? DJ Brettley suggested using a transmitter from a wireless unit. In this case, this is just an old EV unit, and this is our wedding, actually our current wedding mic package. It works great. Um, but we also have the guitar transmitter for it as well. So what we do is we just run out of the mixer, and I have a, an adapter here, and we run it into this guy, and then what you're gonna have over by your cabinet here is the receiver, and you're gonna run that into, into the speaker. Let me show you how that works. So currently, we are running from the Cat5 boxes. So I'll pull this. All right, audio stop. Turn that down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to this guy right here, and we're gonna transmit wirelessly through the, through the mic, wireless mic system. Actually, I already have it plugged in there. I just need to walk over here and switch the inputs. Okay, we're gonna unplug that guy. Plug him in and you're going, I don't hear anything. Well, we'll fix that. So I'll come over to the transmitter here. Turn that on and there we go. So this will work great in situations where maybe we just need one speaker because they're, they're doing some speeches, we need to, some additional coverage, or we need to run music. And that's, you know, a lot of the gigs we do for weddings especially, one speaker is really about all you need. This is a great tip. I think it's something we will definitely use in the, in the upcoming months and if it's something you have, the great thing about it is that, again, this is an older unit. It doesn't have to be anything special in that sense. And let us know if this is something you've seen or something you think you could use in the future.